Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for November the 22nd, brought to you today by Senior Editor Matt Dennis. In our top news story, the FDA lifted a partial clinical hold on the enrolment of new patients with head and neck cancer in studies of AstraZeneca's Dervalumab. The partial clinical hold came into effect last month after bleeding events were observed in patients with head and neck cancer administered the pdl one inhibitor. Also in the news... The FDA approved new once-daily diabetes therapies from Novo Nordisk and Sanofi that combine long-acting insulins with GLP-1 agonists. Novo Nordisk Zoltafi combines the long-acting insulin Traceba and the GLP-1 analog Victoza, while Sanofi Saliqua combines Lantus and the GLP-1 receptor agonist Lixumia. Zoltafi will be launched in the US in the first half of next year, while Saliqua is expected to be available in US retail pharmacies in January 2017. Analysts predict that Zultafi will generate annual sales of around $1.2 billion in 2021, with Saliqua forecast to reach $550 million by the same time. And finally, Shire plans to expand its operations in Cambridge, Massachusetts, establishing a rare disease innovation hub. The move is designed to create a cross-disciplinary campus, with teams spanning research, clinical development, medical fairs, business development and related functions. To read these and other stories in full, visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today.